Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Moore, the principal of Weathersfield High School. And on behalf of all members of the high school community, let me welcome you to our very first virtual academic award ceremony. Let me first thank Mrs. Barbara Bellis, Ms. Sue Coco, and all the department liaisons for all their efforts in making this event a reality. Without them, we would not have the opportunity to recognize the hard work and academic achievements of all our wonderful students. So now we will begin the ceremony. Members of the junior class are selected each year as representatives to the American Legion's Boy State and Girls State Seminars. They are chosen on the basis of leadership in the school, high moral character, demonstrated good citizenship. They hold a B or better scholastic average. They pass a physical examination and are interested in the electoral process and government. So this year, the WHS delegates to Laurel Girl State are Naz Zaire and Sophie Gustafson. And this year's delegates to Nutmeg Boy State will be Tiago Wynn, Michael Bilak, Brendan Zaleski, and Dylan Knapp. So congratulations to those students. For our next award in 2004, the Weathersfield Grange number 114 established a scholarship to be presented to a worthy scholar who is continuing his or her education. Although the Grange indicated that preference should be given to a student going into the field of agriculture, converse, uh, conservation, some type of community service or a home ec type field, they have entrusted us to select a deserving student in any field. This year, I would like to award this $500 scholarship to Serena Consul. Congratulations, Serena. And next, I would like to ask Kara Alexopoulos to come forward for a special award, which has been made possible by the staff at Weathersfield High School. Ms. Alexopoulos? Thank you. The faculty and staff participate in a dress down program on each Friday during the school year. Participants pay $2 per week for the privilege of wearing business casual clothing to school on Friday. In the past, the money collected was donated to charity. The faculty and staff have donated thousands of dollars to various organizations over the years. Several years ago, the faculty and staff decided to use the donations to provide scholarships to four deserving Weathersfield High School graduating seniors. The WHS Student Recognition Award is a $500 scholarship to help in their post high school endeavors. We will now announce the students receiving the Weathersfield High School Recognition Award. This student is a kind, smart, helpful, funny, and all around amazing student. He is always willing to help others and shows great leadership in a quiet manner by going out of his way to help others without fanfare. This year's recipient is Michael Dunn. The next student is truly one of the nicest students. He works hard, is respectful, and always is ready to help others. He represents Weathersfield well. <clears throat> The next recipient is Ryan Barassi. The next student is a kind and compassionate person who is always thinking of others. Although she has experienced hardship, she continues to show her positive and kind spirit. She goes out of her way to help others. She goes above and beyond in all that she does. This recipient is Caroline Klinger. The next student is an outstanding student and person. She is logical, practical, insightful, and highly analytical. She has a depth to her intelligence that is rare in high school aged students. She is also concerned about others. This includes both local and global concerns. She represents WHS well in whatever activity she participates in. She brings energy, and concern to the areas she is involved in. 
giving us all hope for the future. This recipient is Amina Shaquille. Mr. Moore. Thank you, Ms. Alexopoulos. In past years, a representative from the Rotary Club of Wethersfield would be here to present four scholarships from the Helping Hand Fund. Instead, I would like to ask Assistant Principal Terry Yusko to present the Helping Hands Awards on the Rotary's behalf. Ms. Yusko. Thank you, Mr. Moore. On behalf of the Rotary Club, I would like to read the following. Congrats to each of you in this WHS class of 2020. You have benefited from something rare and wonderful here, a good education. Not all teens in our world are as fortunate as you. You have been blessed with this rich education so that you can in turn share your blessings with those less fortunate. As you move into the next phase of your lives, I encourage you to explore membership in Rotary Club. Our motto is service above self. Rotary allows you to serve others here in your hometown and around the globe. We hope you'll check us out online. You will see the work in which we are involved in, including polio eradication, clean water projects, eyeglass distribution, provision of monitors for a local newborn intensive care unit, and bulletproof vests for local police dogs. At the Weathersfield Rocky Hill Rotary Club, we are fortunate to be able to offer scholarships to local graduates. We, who read applications and conduct interviews, are very excited to learn about this generation of graduates. We see so much talent, self-discipline, diligence, and accomplishment in all of you. We are in awe by your professional goals, such as astrophysics, biomedical engineering, environmental policy, and criminology. This class will certainly make a difference in the world. We would love to be able to give scholarships to each of our applicants, but resources are finite, so we must only choose a few. This year, we have selected four scholarship recipients. Jillian Gray, who will make a difference in the world through her study of speech pathology. Amira Jahaf, who will make a difference in the world through her studies in the medical field. Mia Manduhana, who will make a difference in the world through her study of medicine. And Camilla Porras, who will make a difference in the world through her study of political science and law. We wish them and each of you a lifetime of learning, growing, and giving. Mr. Moore. Thank you, Ms. Yosko. At this time, I would ask Mr. John Sand to present the next awards. <clears throat> Mr. Sand. Thank you, Mr. Moore. The National Society of Colonial Dames of America Award is given to students in the state of Connecticut. These students will participate in a week-long seminar in Washington, D.C. They will receive full funding for a week of citizenship education about the national government, as well as tours of sites in our nation's capital. Our first recipient is Sophie Gustafson, and our second recipient is Adriana Mantilla. Thank you, Mr. Sand. At this time, I would like to introduce Assistant Principal Tyler Webb for the presentation of the next awards. Mr. Webb. Thank you, Mr. Moore. I am pleased to announce an award that was established in 2014 in honor of Mrs. Shirley Steinmetz, a dedicated public servant and lifelong advocate for English language learners. Shirley Steinmetz founded the ESL program in 1978 and dedicated 29 years to the department. She taught at every elementary school in the Weathersfield School District. Among her many accolades, she earned the Teacher of the Year Award and won a Humanitarian Award from the Connecticut Education Association. Based on Shirley Steinmetz's passion for English language learners, this award will be given to the English learner who has shown the most significant improvement the selected student has displayed strong motivation to overcome language barriers and has excelled both in language learning and in content area classes. This, this student has demonstrated dedication and motivation in all aspects of her educa education. I'm a, I am pleased to announce this year's recipient, Mia Manduano. The Connecticut Association of Schools has authorized us to award a certificate to a student who has exhibited superior leadership skills at Weatherfield High School. The student we are recognizing this evening 
was nominated by special education teacher Leslie Ledoux. The student cho chosen for this year's award possesses many wonderful qualities. What makes this student stand out is her ability to contribute to each of the ALS students' daily school life. Many mornings, she would come in early to school and come by the room to greet everyone. She was their friend as well as an ALS aide. We first recognized this student's kindness while she was a freshman in Morrow's pool class. He instantly won her over with his signature handshake, even if it was in the middle of her swim routine. She joined as an ALS aide her sophomore year and has been a beacon of joy, patience, laughter, and friendship ever since. The student that best represents this year's ALS helper slash aide of the year is Jillian Gray. Thank you, Mr. Webb. In past years, a representative from the Wethersfield Historical Society would be here to present their award. Instead, I would like to again ask Assistant Principal Tyler Webb to present the John C. Willard Award. Mr. Webb. Thank you again, Mr. Moore. We would like to present this award on behalf of the Wethersfield Historical <laughs> Society. We are, uh, we are pleased to present the John C. Willard Award, which is given annually to a junior who has been determined by the Social Studies Department to be the outstanding history student at Wethersfield High School. This student is a quietly passionate student working hard every day to understand not just the classroom content and skills, but to grasp the finer points connecting all of the social sciences. Her practical knowledge and deep understanding, as well as her outstanding written skills, have made her clearly the top AP early college experience U.S. history student this year. The John C. Willard Award for History is presented to Sophie Gustafson. Thank you again, Mr. Webb. We will now present awards from the English and Reading Departments. I would like to ask our English department liaison, Mrs. Stephanie McKenna, to present these awards. Mrs. McKenna. Thank you, Mr. Moore. The Marjorie Veets Windsor Award is an annual award for excellence in English presented to a senior who, in the opinion of the English department, has proved to be an outstanding student in English during all their years in high school. <laughs> The award, established in 1964, honors Mrs. Mar Mrs. Marjorie Beats Windsor for many years a devoted member of the Wethersfield High School English Department, to which, to which she gave her considerable talents as teacher, drama coach, advisor to the Elm, and the literary magazine, The Pyquag. The Marjorie Veets Windsor Award for Excellence in English is presented to Morgan Grabowski. Each year, the English department presents the Dean Clem's Memorial Award to a student who has excelled in writing and the arts. The Dean Clem's Memorial Award is presented to Christina Hoda. The Michael E. Dawn Award is presented to a student or students who, in the judgment of the English and reading teachers, have shown the most significant improvement in personal and academic reading skills. The selected students have displayed both a developing interest in reading as an avocation and thoughtful attention to assigned academic reading tasks. These students are active readers whose attitudes and commitment to reading reveal them to be a young adult who is developing a true appreciation of literature. The award, established in 1979, honors Mr. Michael E. Dawn, a talented and dedicated member of the Wethersfield High School English and Reading Departments from 1965 through 1977. The Michael E. Dawn Awards for Reading is presented to Ryan Salemi and Elizabeth Maliki. The Teen Inc. Book Awards are presented annually to students selected by the English department who demonstrate outstanding improvement in the field of English. This award acknowledges exceptional individual growth and encourages students to con continue this achievement. The Teen Inc. Book Awards are presented to Jake Whitaker, Erica Torres, Megan Doshi, and Sophia Murahi. Mr. Moore? Thank you, Mrs. McKenna. At this time, I would like to ask world language teacher Matthew Mangino, who also serves as the world language liaison, to present the next awards. Senor Mangino? 
Thank you, Mr. Moore. <clears throat> Each year, the World Language Department presents awards in French, Italian, and Spanish to the best all-around student from the senior class. This year, the Spanish recipient is Chiara Lazu. The Italian recipient is Morgan Grabowski, and the French recipient is Robert Cook. The Weathersfield High School World Language Department would like to honor Rose Wright, a beloved world language teacher in the Weathersfield school system for 37 years, who passed away in November 2008. Her passion for the Spanish language and culture and her creative lessons were an inspiration to her students and colleagues. Tonight, we would like to present the Rose Wright Memorial Award to a senior Spanish student who demonstrates excellence in Spanish and who exhibits a passion for the Spanish literature, language, and culture. I am pleased to present the Rose Wright Memorial Award to Mariela Interian. The Santino Politita Award has been established to recognize a junior or senior of Italian descent who has maintained a fine academic average in all courses of Italian studies and who shows an affinity for the language and its culture as modeled by Signor Policita during his tenure at Weathersfield High School. I am uh, pleased to present the annual Santino Policita Award to Gabriela Amodio. The Diane Glickman Boscarino Award for Excellence in Italian One honors the memory of a young teacher of Italian at the former Webb Junior High School. The award is presented to the most outstanding student in Italian One. This year's recipient is Kristen Coca. The Italian National Honor Society Scholarship Award is presented to members of the senior class in recognition of growth and excellence in Italian studies, as well as service to the Honor Society. This year's recipients are Maria Pena and Mark Zacco. Mr. Moore? Gracias, senor. At this time, I would like to ask science teacher and science department liaison, Kara Alexopoulos, to present the following awards. Ms. Alexopoulos. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Bausch & Lomb, founded in Rochester, New York, is a preeminent global technology-based healthcare company. The University of Rochester, like Bausch & Lomb, has a proud history of innovation and promotes science as a commitment to discovery, analytical thought and progress. Every year since 1933, the University of Rochester has collaborated with high schools around the world to recognize their most talented students. The Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Award is given to a junior who shares this vision of advancing education and exploration through high achievement and rigor of science. This award holds a merit scholarship with a minimum value of 7,500 per year, totaling 30,000 over four years upon acceptance, enrollment, and attendance of the University of Rochester. This year's recipient of the Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Award is Michael Bilak. Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute congratulates this student on being awarded the Rensselaer Medal. Founded in 1824, <clears throat> Rensselaer is the oldest technological institution in North America, and it is located in the capital region of New York State. This prestigious award has been awarded since 1916 to one student in any given high school and is designed to recognize that student's strength and success in the fields of mathematics and science. Medalists who apply are admitted and are admitted Two, and enroll in Rensselaer are awarded a scholarship worth $25,000 per year, at least $100,000 over four years. We hope that you will consider a future with RPI. The recipient is Jennifer Briglio. The AP Science Scholar Award was established to recognize a graduating senior that has excelled in all three of the AP science courses offered at Weathersfield High School and has completed all three AP science exams. We recognize this student for the willingness to embrace the need for high level thinking to map challenging content in all areas of AP bio biology, AP chemistry, and AP physics. 
We recognize this student as a role model for others in how they approach learning at the highest level and the need for positivity, curiosity, and consistency to be successful. I am pleased to recognize this year's recipient of the AP Science Scholar Award to Grace Keneally. Mr. Moore? Thank you, Ms. Alexopoulos. Now, I would like to introduce math teacher and math department liaison, Mr. Jeremy Sager, who will present the Mathematics Awards. Mr. Sager? Thank you, Mr. Moore. We would like to recognize two outstanding senior students who excel in the study of mathematics. Based on the guidelines from the National Council of Supervisors of Mathematics, I would like to present certificates and a small gift for distinguished mathematics achievement at Wethersfield High School. This year's recipients are Grace Keneally and Eric Schumerman. This year, our math department would also like to recognize two senior students who have shown ex exceptional growth in the area of mathematics. I would like to present these students with certificates and a small gift acknowledging them as the most improved students in math. Recipients are Kelsey Crandall and John Orsini. Wethersfield High School is a member of the Capital Area Mathematics League, consisting of 26 area high schools divided into two divisions, competing in five rounds at each of its six meets. Shannon Belanger serves as the advisor for the WHS team. I would like to present this year's MVP award to Eric Schumerman. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sager. And at this point, I would like to ask our social studies department liaison, Mr. John Sand, to present the social studies awards. Mr. Sand. Thank you, Mr. Moore. The first award in social studies is given in honor of Mr. F. Ellis Backman, a former teacher and department head for many years in Weathersfield. The award is determined by the social studies teachers and is given annually to a graduating senior who has shown strong interest in world, national, and local events, concern for the community, and has been exhibited motivation in the general area of social studies. This year's recipient, Matthew Lipka. The Social Studies Recognition Award is given to a junior or senior who has shown significant growth over three years as a student of social studies. This student demonstrates a passion for the study of social studies, a commitment to excellence, and a high level of motivation and consistent effort. The student also applies learning to the real world, exemplifies good citizenship, and contributes to the learning experience of the whole class. This year's recipient, Robert Cook. Back to you, Mr. Moore. And again, thank you, Mr. Sand. At this point in our award ceremony, I would like to ask instrumental music teacher, Mr. Michael Bowles, to present the music awards. Mr. Bowles? Thank you, Mr. Moore. Each year, the United States Marine Corps honors high school band students who display the traits that the Marine Corps considers essential to being a good leader, endurance, knowledge, unselfishness, dependability, and enthusiasm, and loyalty. Award recipients are not selected for their playing ability, but are selected for the leadership qualities that they have contributed to the excellence of the band program. This year's recipients of Marine Corps' Fidelis Music Award are Veronica Rondinelli and Max Bongiovanni. The National School Orchestra Award is the highest honor that can be given to an orchestra student. This award is given to the string musician that represents superior musicianship and outstanding dedication in the high school orchestra program. This year's recipient of the Weathersfield High School National Orchestra Award is Lily Moreau. John Philip Souza, the famed conductor and composer, is the father of the American band tradition. Though bands existed before his time, Souza brought bands and American music to the world stage. Created in 1955 to recognize the top students in the high school band, the John Philip Sousa Band Award recognizes superior musicianship and outstanding dedication. It was created with the approval of Helen Sousa Albert and Priscilla Sousa, the daughters of the famous composer and bandmaster. This year's recipients of the Weathersfield High School John Philip Sousa Band Awards are Matthew Lipka and Maria Pena. 
This year, two Weathersfield High School students were selected to be members of the All-State Band. The All-State Ensembles are the highest honor a student musician can achieve in Connecticut. In order to reach this high level, these students passed several rounds of auditions and placed among the highest on their instruments in the northern region and state. Their selection for the All-State Band is a testament for their hard work and determination. Please help me congratulate Bryce Cox and Matthew Lipka. This year, the Instrumental Music Department has chosen to recognize an Instrumental Musician of the Year. This individual is the embodiment of what it means not only to be a great musician, but also an outstanding person. This year's recipient of the Student of the Year Award has been a formidable presence in the music department for the last four years. In her time at WHS, this recipient has grown as a musician and into an outstanding leader. She continues to strive for greatness every day. Even during the unpredictable times during distance learning, she has stepped up and faced each challenge with dedication and pride. In my time as an educator, I have had hundreds of students and this year's recipient of the Instrumental Student of the Year Award is, a one, is among one of the most amazing people I've had the privilege to work with. She will be dearly missed. Please help me congratulate this year's recipient of the 2020 Instrumental Student of the Year, Maria Pena. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you, Mr. Bowles. Now I would like to ask art teacher, Ms. Andrea Haas, to present the art awards. Ms. Haas? Thank you, Mr. Moore. This student has showed exemplary work during her time at the WHS with a visual arts program. She is dedicated, talented, creative, and truly never walks away from a challenge. This superior young artist who is the recipient of the Outstanding Visual Arts Award is Alexis Almada. These two students truly embrace the creative process and show amazing potential for the future. Their hard work and dedication definitely shows through in their artwork. The recipients of this year's Visual Arts Emerging Artist Awards are Juliana Winopani and Audrey Bukeri. The National Art Honor Society, NAHS, recognizes high school students who demonstrate an outstanding ability and interest in art. It also promotes the highest standards in art scholarship, character, and service by bringing art and art education to the attention of the school and community. This year's recipients of the NAHS Outstanding Member Awards are Alexis Malt, Almada, Christian Friedman Ringwood, and Isaiah Friedman Ringwood. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you, Ms. Haas. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Christopher Palazzo, business education teacher and also department liaison. He will be joined by Joanna Griswold and Joanne Riccardi, educators in the business education department. Mr. Palazzo. Thank you, Mr. Moore. The Outstanding Business Education Student Award is presented in recognition of a student who has demonstrated excellence, growth, and leadership potential through enrollment in business courses and business activities. The student must be nominated by a member of the business education department and must have been enrolled in at least two business courses throughout the current year. By recognizing this outstanding achievement, the members of the business department hope to inspire emerging business leaders and to foster growth and education in the business field. This year's recipient is Ryan Barassi. I would like to introduce Mrs. Joanna Griswold, business education teacher. Thank you, Mr. Palazzo. The Outstanding High School Accounting Student Award is presented in recognition of excellence and achievement in accounting. This student demonstrates a passion for the study of accounting a commitment to excellence and consistent effort. In class, she's attentive, motivated, and truly sets the bar high. She's eager to learn and encourage others to do well with her exceptional work ethic. This year's recipient is Rita Konjusha. Thank you, Mrs. Griswold. I would now like to introduce Mrs. Joanne Riccardi, business education teacher. Thank you, Mr. Palazzo. The Outstanding Student in Marketing Award is presented to the individual who has achieved the highest level of performance in the classroom and on the job. They have taken two years of marketing, have demonstrated the ability to apply marketing, management, and entrepreneurial principles to a variety of real world situations. This year's recipient is 
Riley Wilhelm. The DECA Recognition Award is presented to the club member who has an interest in marketing, management, or entrepreneurship. The club helps students develop career skills and competence, build self-esteem, experience leadership, and pr practice community service. Our DECA program would especially like to recognize our chapter president for having a critical role in planning and leading our chapter through the year. I am proud to be able to present the DECA award to Waverly Brown. Thank you, Ms. Bricardi. I appreciate it. And at this point, I would like to ask technology teacher, Mr. Ben Socorro, to present the Technology Education Awards. Mr. Socorro? Thank you, Mr. Moore. The Edward Beach Memorial Scholarship is presented annually to a graduating senior. This award was created to honor the memory of Edward Beach, a beloved technology education teacher at Wethersfield Schools who passed away suddenly in 1997 at the young age of 45. The award is given annually to a student who exemplifies some of the characteristics that made Mr. Beach an outstanding teacher, person, and friend. The recipient is a person who is determined, dependable, and unselfish with a thirst for knowledge, a passion for problem solving, and enthusiasm for helping others. The student recognized for this award is loyal, dedicated, polite, confident, and a thoughtful student. He has taken a variety of technology classes each year of high school. He has a passion for architecture even as a student in middle school. He plans to study architecture and play college baseball while attending Alfred State University as a student athlete in the fall. The award is presented to Ryan Coplin. Thank you, Mr. Moore. Thank you, Mr. Sakura. At this time, I would like to ask Mrs. Shelley Bailey, to present the Family and Consumer Science Department Award. Ms. Bailey. Thank you. This award is presented to a student who shows great promise or enthusiasm in the field of food service or pastry making. The recipient demonstrates dependability, a spirit of cooperation, and an ability to work hard and exceed the desired outcome in the culinary lab. This junior has a passion for baking and cooking original dishes. She has taken the two introductory nutrition and foods classes in the past, which gave her a great foundation, and this year she blossomed. She is determined to make her dishes healthy, extra tasty, and beautiful. And what makes her talent exceptional and all the more impressive is that she does this with limited sight. She has expressed an interest in culinary schools after next year. We are so proud of her. This year's recipient is Lillian Peak. Mr. Moore? Thank you, Ms. Bailey. At this point, I would like to invite Mr. Richard Scapetto, physical education teacher, to present an award from the athletic department. Mr. Scapetto? Thank you, Mr. Moore. The Miller H. Mason Physical Education Award is awarded to two students, one male and one mm -hmm. female. These students exemplify the desired traits of leadership, responsibility, fair play, courtesy, honesty, self-control, loyalty, truthfulness, and good sportsmanship as they were an active participant in our physical education program. Mr. Mason was my first boss. What a gentleman. Uh, this man loved teaching. Uh, you would want him to be your teacher in physical education. And these two students, he would enjoy having them in your class. Recipients of the 2020 Millard H. Mason Physical Education Award goes to Chris Heverin and Lily Moreau. Thank you. Mr. Moore? Thank you, Mr. Scapetto. We now have a series of awards. And the first one I would like to present is the Todd Bruce Memorial Award. This award is presented to a member of the junior class selected by the WHS faculty. Members of the class of 1985 created the Todd Bruce Memorial Award to be presented each year at this annual awards program. And the following are the criteria for this award. So male or female college bound in the top 15% of his or her class, 
involved in community service, vivacious, humorous, fun, and a good friend, physically active, not necessarily a varsity letter winner, but someone who would rather participate than be a spectator, and is regarded by students and faculty as one who enjoys life and makes the most of its opportunities with his or her mind, personal relationship, relationships, and activities. And this year's recipient is Naz Zaire. Our next award is the John Warren Potter Award. And the John Warren Potter Award honors a person dedicated to teamwork and competition, a conscientious scholar, one of genuine school spirit with qualities of friendliness, consideration, honesty, and appraisal of self in attitude towards others. This award honors an all around student who brings to each of several areas the will to do the very best of which he or she is capable. This year, we would like to award the John Warren Potter Award to the student who possesses all of the qualities required. And the recipient is Ryan Barassi. Congratulations. And at this time, I would like to introduce technology education teacher, Ms. Sue Coco, who runs our blood drives for the next award. Ms. Coco? Thank you, Mr. Moore. The American Red Cross High School Scholarship Award is presented to a senior who has been an active participant in our high school blood program and has exhibited positive leadership roles in the coordination and recruitment of blood donors. These two seniors are compassionate and dedicated students who have helped save over 1,400 lives running drives at WHS. Congratulations to Alexa Almada and Natalia Travaglini. Tom. Thank you, Ms. Coco. The next awards are the prestigious book awards. And book awards are presented to members of the junior class whose performances have demonstrated outstanding strength and leadership in the classroom, in school, in the community, and in personal activities. These book prizes are sponsored by the alumni association from each of these prestigious schools. The recipients are selected based on specific criteria given to us by each individual school. And here are the book awards for this year. From Bryant College, the recipient is Bryce Cox. The Dartmouth College Book Award is presented this year to Naz Zaire. The George Washington University Book Award to Brian Puyelli. The Book Award from Gettysburg College, the recipient this year is Caitlin Ryan. The Harvard Book Prize is given this year to Carrie Win. The Princeton University Book Award this year is given to Excel Leonard. The book prize from St. Anselm College is given to Julia Ward. We have two recipients for the St. Michael's College Book Award. The recipients are Alexander Ginter and Kate Griffin. The Smith College Book Award this year, the recipient is Lindsay Pia. The Suffolk University Book Award, the recipient is Madison Rigi. The Trinity College Book Award, this year's recipient is Rita Kanjusha. The Yale University Book Award, the recipient is Sophie Gustafson. And the Weathersfield Education Foundation Book Award, the recipient this year is Hayden Joyce. Congratulations to all our book award winners. And at this time, I would like to bring back Ms. Stephanie McKenna, who will introduce the next award. Ms. McKenna. Thank you, Mr. Moore. On January 20th, 2020, Drew Nicholas passed away, leaving a legacy of memories and accomplishments from his 20 years as an English teacher at WHS. His love of travel translated to bringing hundreds of students on trips all over the world. 
Throughout his life, Mr. Nick showed strength and determination, always choosing to be kind and enjoy life. The recipient of this award is a student who lives life with positivity. This student embodies Mr. Nick's love for life and adventure, as well as his sense of humor and concern for others. This student shows an interest in getting involved in the life of the school to become a positive part of the WHS community. I am honored to introduce Mary and Tom Nicholas, the mother and brother of Drew Nicholas, to present this award for the first time. I'd like to welcome and thank all of you from Wethersfield High School, especially the English department, for creating this award in my brother's name. I am Tom Nicholas, and I am here with my mother, Mary Nicholas, and she'd like to start off by telling you a little bit of the qualities that we loved about Drew. I think his gentleness, his kindness, and I loved his intelligence and how he handled people so gently in spite of how much he knew, he never put people down. Thank you very much. There's several other qualities that I and his beloved dog, Sadie, would love to share with you, was that we all knew he knew life was so precious um, and he never let a moment go by without enjoying life. And he had such a verve and energy for life, um, his strength and optimism, he never let anything get in his way. No matter what knocked him down, he always got up again and was headed forward because he was all about having fun, going on vacations to Ireland, Cape Cod, to Greece. He loved those places. He loved to take his students to those places. And so it's a great honor for us tonight to know that somebody is receiving an award in his name and his spirit and his energy for caring about community and those that were around him. And so I haven't met this student yet, but I will. And the qualities that she possesses are being a wonderful student, a loving daughter and sister, a loyal friend. Loyalty was very strong with Drew. Um, being a loyal teammate, um, having outstanding student values and valuing the community that was around him and offering any support that he could to that community. That's what I understand that this honoree is also all about at Wethersfield High School. Um, I understand that she has endured challenges of her own and come up with a fighting spirit just facing them on with joy and happiness because the people around us are very loving, kind, and caring. And so it is with great honor that we get to bestow the first annual Drew Nicholas Award to Callie Klinginger. Congratulations, Callie, who's going into nursing. Very nice. Which is just so wonderful. Thank you from all of us in the Nicholas family. Thank you. Thank you. The Weathersfield Chamber of Commerce has graciously awarded a scholarship to a graduating senior this year. The recipient for the 2020 Chamber of Commerce Scholarship is Michael Dunn. At this time, we have a representative for Devo Award, and we would like to have those representatives present the award. Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Lavoie, and I'm here to present the 2020 Vivo Chiropractic $500 College Scholarship. We had so many great applicants this year. We had literally the most applicants we've ever had, and it made it the hardest decision ever to choose the best. But our team felt that there was one candidate that stood out just a little bit more above the rest between her great academic achievements, her extensive volunteer work, that she proved to be a great role model to her fellow students in Wethersfield High School, which I believe will continue into her university career, and her athletic achievements, including being captain of the girls' swim team 
and uh, go into swim states. And so it's with great pleasure that I announce Abigail Keene as the 2020 Vivo Chiropractic Scholarship winner. Congratulations, Abigail, and best of luck at Central. We also have the prestigious awards for the Henry and Eleanor P. Leonard scholarships, and we have representatives to present those scholarships. Good evening, my name is Bob Wade. I'm the lead trustee for the Leonard Family Scholarship Foundation. We are pleased this year to name two recipients from Weathersfield High School that will receive scholarships in the name of the foundation. Our first recipient this year is Clea Nito, who will receive a $5,000 scholarship. Our second recipient is Camilla Porus, another $5,000 scholarship. We'd like to congratulate both of you and wish you well. And the class of 2020, we send our congratulations. Appropriately, we would like to end our presentation today, our first annual virtual presentation with the Remembrance Scholarship. This recognition has been made possible by three Wethersfield High School graduates in memory of their deceased friends who graduated from Wethersfield High School. I would like to thank Cindy Lantieri Zerblis, Christine Kelly Lasella, and Jeff Pitchell for making this award and recognition possible. Hi, Cindy Zerblis here. Christine. Jeff Pitchell, hi. And we're from the Weathersfield High School Remembrance Scholarship Committee. And we're here tonight to award our um, scholarship winners. And I just wanna say as a mom of a Weathersfield High School 2020 senior, this is not the way I pictured awarding these scholarships. Uh, we'd much rather be awarding these scholarships in person and congratulating all our, our recipients in person. However, we figured if we had to do things this way, we would change it up a bit and throw a little bit of a surprise in at the end. So please stay tuned. Um, the Weathersfield High School scholarship did not originally start out as a scholarship. The three of us originally got together because we wanted to throw a multi-class reunion. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the class of 86 to participate with us. So the three of us decided we'd throw our own party with music and friends with Jeff Pitchell and Texas Flood. Each time we would, we would meet, our conversations would turn to all good and all good and sometimes bad times we had at Weathersfield High School. And many times the conversations would turn to who we had lost from our graduating classes way too soon. And there were many. By my senior year, I had attended three wakes of my classmates, two of which were, were part of what I would call my inner circle. It was a lot to handle at a young age and quite a life lesson to learn, learn at that time. But it was from those conversations the Weathersfield High School Remembrance Committee was started. The three of us wanted to honor those we had lost and what a great way to do this by awarding scholarships in their memory. The event has been a success every year. This is our fifth year doing this. And in the past four years, we have donated over $12,000 in scholarships to Weathersfield High School students and over $3,000 in miscellaneous do donations to people in town who might have been in, been in need in other ca causes. One of those being Maven, which I know the class of 2020 will always fondly remember. If there's any lesson we could help you with, with your move forward in the next chapter in your life, it is to be kind. All, awards and good grades are, are great things to have, but being kind will always get you far in life. Be kind to your fellow classmates and the, those, those of you who you're going to meet going forward, because tomorrow that person might not be there to be kind to. Look at the people who are different from you and instead of judging them, embrace them. You might end up with a really great friend. One of the things that our event does is it puts a bunch of people in a room from different high school cliques or friend groups, as you guys might call them, and everyone is, is celebrating each other and those we have lost. There is no popular kid, there is no best looking, there's no best athlete, there's no smart kid, there's no funny kid. It's just a bunch of people there to support a cause and remember those we have lost. Don't wait 30 years like we did. Celebrate each other today. We know, we know that you haven't been in school for a long time, but why not reach out to that person from school that you haven't, haven't seen since you left in March and send them a Snapchat or reach out to them to someone that you normally would never talk to, or better yet, apologize to that person that you may not have been nice to at one point. 
you might really find a really great friend in that person and you never know no you might change the change the course of that person's life one of the things that we look for when we award this scholarship is for students who are giving back to their community and just an all-around genuine nice kind person I know we found that in all of our recipients Christine if you want to announce who our winners are so we chose three students this year and it was tough I think you guys agree we always have a hard time there's a lot of great students at Weathersfield High so we'll do um, alphabetically first we have Serena Consul yay Serena uh, then we have Andre George yay Andre and last we have Ava Minichino yay Ava and here's our little surprise you guys have never seen this but this is Jeff from the class of 84 and this is who brings all the money in for us <laughs> that's not true Say you don't know where to go from here All direction is so unclear And all you know is you're on your own To so make a stumbling block A stepping stone A stumbling block A stepping stone Every day We start again Every day There's a chance to win Tomorrow we'll get the past Every day we start again Every day we start again Some people spin around and around Climbing a ladder to a hole in the ground And all you want is waiting for you Just take the next step, that's the best you can do Take the next step, that's the best you can do. Every day, we start again. Every day, it's a chance to win. Can't you tomorrow forget the past? Here and now is all that lasts. Take what you're given as a way to begin. Every day, we start again. Every Congratulations to all our award winners and to the presenters for, for participating in this, again, first virtual awards ceremony. Many of the awards will be mailed out to the homes of the recipients. Thank you to all the family members and everyone who support all these great award recipients.